on this episode of Let's Play Bioshock Infinite. We will kill some people and the world. Hey guys, this is on Teddy, and on this episode of Let's Play Bioshock Infinite, we're going to head down here into this very... Yeah, that kind of makes me nervous with my fear of heights. Oh, oh that, that would not be fun to fall down. We're going to head over here and hopefully make our way to Comstock House. And let's see if Elizabeth can just lead us the correct way. She seems like she knows where she's going, or she's been here before. Memorial Gardens. Hmm. So, there's definitely grave. No, Memorial Gardens! There's not going to be graves here. I'm really intelligent. Some would say I'm very intelligent. Oh, God! They saw us! Come on, they're not that apparent. Uh, they're not that apparent. Oh god. Wow. My aim is I'm great at this game. Thank you Gee <laughs> Wombo combo too much. I think that was it. Nope. Just those two Vox Populi and I guess we should go to the main thing Our Lady and memory She's dead Hmm, so I guess that's Lady Comstock looks a whole lot like Elizabeth in her dress Nothing to say really are we heading? No, we're not headed to the right area. Maybe we have to set, do something a little bit before before anything happens over here. And is that a shotgun hiding on there? I know we saw a shotgun tear we could bring in. And oh, it's a heater. Now nah, I'm gonna go grab the shotgun for that shotgun tear. I'd much rather have that than this repeater. I think it is. I don't know. Anyway, I just don't like the repeater, and I love the shotgun. Uh, can I get this ammo? It's really weird sometimes how long it takes up to get this ammo in these barrels. Ah oh, well. It looks like we got enough. 15 should be good. And anything up here? It looked like there's some sort of lockpick. Uh, usually in those little weird places a lockpick. Let's see where the magical arrow, which I almost never use, takes me. I think this was actually one of the first areas when I was playing the game the first time where I had to use the arrow because I was confused. Because there's so many branching paths you can take. Can you get this open? Oh, this so well she's still all. thinking about the new York on fire thing with a random loading screen that just stops everything. And 200 silver egos, that's not that bad. And machine gun. Uh, no, I want to use the pistol a little bit. I have so much ammo. Might as well get it all out so I can have a lot of ammo for something else. And nothing in here. I could have swore there would be more stuff in there. Oh, well. I guess everything can't be a treasure. Also, I, I looked directly at it and I didn't mention anything because I was talking about something else. We need to go check this thing and see if it's one we haven't seen. Nope, it's already one we've seen. We don't have to worry about it. Let's see, can we go into that shop? Nope, I guess we just have to continue on here. Yeah, it looks a lot like the area we're in the first game. Like, maybe this... Is it that first area in the game redesign? No, because this is something completely different. This is Comstock House, even though there was a statue very much like that, and it looks like the Vox have taken over here. Is there anything special about it besides the little red banger banner hung on it? Wow, okay, they shot his heart out and looks like his knees. I'm trying to think if there's any symbolic thing about his knee. Oh, God, they shot his face out, too. Jesus. So, any particular? Oh, no, we just got to go straight up the Comstock House. And tons of corpses here, too. Jeez. Let's head on in. Uh, maybe the lamb will be able to get us through? Lady Comstock, how lovely to see you. Wonderful of you to make the journey, especially considering your painful death 19 years ago. <laughs> Lady Comstock. The dress. The thing has mistaken me for my mother. Told you she looked familiar. Your fingerprints do not seem to be your own today, Lady Comstock. Are you unwell? This isn't going You're unwell, so your you fingerprints aren't your the same? dead, Elizabeth. Yes. I think it's time I paid my respects. Let's head to where she's buried. Well, I totally didn't completely foreshadow, and by foreshadow, I mean go to the wrong area first, and then completely feel like an idiot. I believe there is a foxophone we could pick up and listen to on the way back, even though we've already seen it. Yep, this creepy old lady who looks like some... I can't think of what painter I'm thinking of, but it looks like one of those painter's paintings. This is for the miracle child. Hello. Ooh. I'm sorry your mother, I didn't get this. Comstock, is dead. I think she is altogether better than mine. Since Look at you those live pennants. Here, can you tell me why 
Seems like the Vox have chosen their favorite color. Green? Seems about right. Men of hunting. If it is a secret, I promise not to tell a soul. Your pen friend, Constance. There's the graveyard where my mother's buried. Yeah, I would say, oh, let's replay that again because we had all these things interrupting it. But I I really think that little girl's creepy and I don't like those box of phones at all. Unlike the kids in the other two box shucks, they're always really adorable. What do you think we're looking for, Booker? We're probably just going to like chop off our hands so we can get in. That would be fairly easy. I mean, that would work. And, oh, wow, that's different. We can... Why would we bring in a lock and Booker, calm down. No need for yelling. Can she unlock this? Is she going to unlock it? Or, uh, no, nah, she's not even here yet. I wonder if that, like, like track's it's always the playing. They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. Fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. She's your mother. A mother who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. Take a moment to think about what you're doing. There. Will you open the door, or do I have to go in without you? Like you and I have some common ground. Let me do it. No. Let me do it. You see, child, you chose to follow a false shepherd, and he has led you astray. Elizabeth, are you all right? Where, where did she Just go? Hold on, you need to rest for a minute. No, I'm getting that hand. Elizabeth, why is your mother a ghost? <laughs> She's not. He, he used me to power that device. He opened up some kind of tear. And here comes one of the most annoying fights in Bioshock Infinite. Lady Comstock is such a pain in the ass to kill. And I'll get, there'll be a great explanation a little bit earlier. <laughs> Booker's so matter of fact about this too. So basically what Lady Comstock does is she brings all those uh, corpses back to life. Which is such, such a pain in the ass, especially with the limited ammo you get in this area. And the bad thing is, okay, you kill them. Look, okay, so they're, they're dead, the corpses here. The corpses usually have very little next to nothing on them and what happens after you kill them she just brings them right back if you can kill her quickly it's really nice but the only time she's really invulnerable or like slow and not hurting you that much or bringing people back to dead is when she's doing that bring back to death thing which still hurts you <sighs> but it's just an endless constant cycle of just being such a pain in the ass and she's bringing anyone back oh no she's coming up here and spells, ah, uh, spells, vigors do not w do much damage on her, which also sucks a lot. It's just, overall, the most painful part of this game. It's such a pain in the ass. It's probably more, well, well, I'll compare it later, but this part is really freaking a pain in the ass. And, hmm, what should be my strategy? I, I guess I should just bring them all, uh, bring all the corpses right over here, so when she brings them back, and thank you for that ammo, Elizabeth. When she brings them back, we can get some free shots on her. Uh, like that, uh, what we want to do is we want to Devil's Kiss everyone. That usually does a decent amount of trick. Can we Devil's Kiss again? Oh, beautiful. That's exactly what we want to do. So if we can just keep her locked down here by Devil's Kissing them as soon as they spawn back in, we might be able to win this. Oh, God. Get off me. Get off me. Please, 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 please. Damn it. Ah, now she's back up to, I think she gets half health back. Either way, sucks. 
because then you just keep on fighting it over and over again. Okay, mate, let's play this mode. I'm being really dumb about this because I'm pissed off. What we need to do is bucking Bronco all these po All these fools, please, can I hit? Thank you. I would be much appreciated. And see, now we can't kill them because her ass is in the way. I swear. I swear. Books over here. Books over there. Books everywhere. And I believe there's a couple of health kits under here so we can at least not have a pain in the ass. Yep. It's still only four, which we could use a whole lot more. And, uh, what do we want? I guess we want Undertow Bucking Bronco. I'm looking. See, and I'm, I'm almost already out on my shotgun, which is just friggin' dandy. And you need to use all these salts, too, and then you're out of salts. And thank you, Elizabeth, I appreciate that. But you don't get that for so long. And are the corpse going to start being empty? No, we still haven't collected everything off them. Uh, just dodge that jackass's thing so we can do tons of damage to her if I can just keep this pistol fire on her. Oh god, that hurts. There's more! Get off me, please! Thank you. Oh yeah, and even though they're obviously shooting their guns somehow from the afterlife, you don't get any ammo from them! So overall, this is probably going to be my uh, bitchiest episode so far. Because it's just such a pain. Sorry, I'll stop blathering. So how was your Christmas, guys? You get any good presents? I get a Lady, calm down. Did you get any bad presents, I assume? Okay, we're doing a decent amount of damage. We're dodging those. We're forwarding those. We're... Oh, God. Ow, baby, that hurts. Let's hide in here. I believe there's more medical kits. Yeah, see, when an area has to have eight medical kits in it, you know it's a little ridiculous. And where are you, Lady Comstock? There's like 15 enemies trying to murder me, and I can't find any salts to help me out. Oh, 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 where are you? Come on. I hear your creepy singing voice. Can you just come attack us like the dumbass you should be? There she Ow! Jesus. And yes, I would love to catch that health, Elizabeth. Fine, bring him over here. Oh, God. Thank you. That'll do. They die? Okay. Okay, no, we're still getting ammo from them. Maybe it's not completely lost cause. Lady Comstock, come up here, please. Please, I'll bring the party to you. Oh, God, we need this guy dead immediately. Oh, God. Don't let him get one shot off. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, great. Oh, great. See? Now she's bringing them back, and I can't do anything about... Okay, that's too greedy. That's too greedy. I'm going to get myself killed. Bring the health kits in. Bring in the dancing lobsters. I guess we should need to use this heater now. Actually, no, I should switch the heater for that. Did I do it right? Okay. No, we just need to peat someone up. And that doesn't kill. See, that's how much I... That's why I hate the heater. It sucks. And as I say that, I get a double kill with one shot. Even though he's already down the health health. Oh, God. We're not going to get any fancy strategy killing this episode. It's just going to all be me complaining and me getting my ass completely destroyed. And I need my shield back. Where is she? Who's she bringing back to life? Any more shotgun ammo over here? Repeater? Uh, I guess we brought it in anyway. Where is she? Her ghost is up here. Lady Comstock. Lady! Hey, lady. There's um, a Dixie late. I shot at the wrong one. That's beautiful. Oh, God! She brought in that guy. Really? You have to be even more of a tool, Lady Comstock. Oh, don't kill me. Don't kill me. You better not kill me. You better not kill me. You better. You little not nice lady. You bad, bad mouthing little. Just stop. Stop being you. Be someone else. Or just don't let me die. Okay, there she comes. Come here. Come here, please. 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 Lady Comstock, please. Come on. Stay here. Stay here. Yeah, please. It's a great idea. You totally won't die. Oh, you better not do that. You little freaking. Oh, she is such a little asshole. She's like, oh, you can come kill me now. I have low health. I'm going to dance over here. Yeah, take a free shot. And I would love those salts, Elizabeth, if you could throw them to me. Thank you. Oh, hey. Oh, no, you. Oh, she is just being a little asshole. She's like, oh, oh, you can't shoot me now. I'm going to come over. Hey, what's up? You freaking little. Keep following me. I dare you, little best. Ow, now I'm going to get killed. Oh, no, this guy. This guy. Nope. 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 We're out of medical kits. We've used up, I think, eight or nearly eight medical kits. 
Die. Die. Thank you. Do we still have to kill all the ghost guys? Oh, thank God. Yes, I said that a lot. But what is she? Alive or dead? Schrodinger's cat? Lives, lived, will live. Dies, dies, had died. If we could perceive time as it truly was, what reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? <laughs> like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She is both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension is a dangerous combination. Look! What sounds. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. I, I can't I can't express enough how much I love the Lutesses. Especially how they're talking about the death and they're digging up their own graves. That's that's just beautiful. I I just really like the Lutesses. And I am going to steal the hoarder stuff. Ah, oh, that's fun because he's buried with the da. Uh, and it's funny, and she's all covered in yes. So let's head out of the unlock gate now, and I think we have one more. Her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Do you have the power to alter time and space? They're sarcastic. No, really, Booker! We've didn't been dealing with them for the entire freaking game. We're like, nah, they're not sarcastic. Yeah, I notice. No, you don't understand. She... she doesn't belong here. I brought something through. I'm just... I'm not so sure it was her. And on that mystery, I think we'll end this episode off here. Next time on Let's Play Bioshock Infinite, we're going to follow Lady's Comstock's, Lady Comstock's feet and hopefully discover the three truths that are blocked out of this thing that have made her so irate. See you guys next time. It's my own.